happy new year yes a new year has come and i'm certain you've heard a lot of people wishing to one another a happy new year you might have probably received many text messages phone calls and emails from family members and friends wishing you all the best for the new year and it feels great i'm sure that many of you will agree with me that the meaning of happy new year varies from one group of people to another or simply from one person to another there is a group of people that celebrates with the purpose and rejoice that a new year is very very close and also maybe because of all the good things that happened to them during the year that is ending there's also another group or class of people that does not celebrate because it means nothing to them there's nothing wrong with that just a personal choice the third category here regroup with the first two that i just mentioned and the commonality here is that everyone in this class or group is going through some difficult situations some are homeless although are not but they're coping with some health issues some don't celebrate anymore due to life events and many of them do celebrate but seeing the roughness of their situations you do not know whether to wish them a happy new year or not i worked in oncology for many years and i saw a lot of people fighting for their lives i saw more lifeless bodies there than i've seen in my whole entire life i remember the story that i'm about to share with you just like it happened yesterday i work third shift at some point i had to go assist the patient a patient that i would call lela on my way out of lela's room she asked is today really new year's eve i responded yes what was happening and she said well how come no one wished me a happy new year i have over 300 followers on social media and not even a single of them reached out to wish me a happy new year me personally i did not know that and she went on saying again do you think it is because i told to some of them that i have only two weeks of life left that right there was devastating hearing my patient saying such a thing and what was the most destroying was the fact that Leila said I would like someone to wish me a happy new year that could be my last time hearing that I wished Leila a happy new year and I promised to come back to her room very soon I left her room and I went straight to the bathroom and I cried I don't know for how long but I know I cried you tell me what you would have done in this situation I knew the patient had a few weeks left and I did not wish the patient a happy new year because I did not know if that was a good thing to do given the circumstances please continue this discussion by dropping your comment in the comment section two days later Leila was gone the last category here is the over celebrators by looking at many people in this class celebrating new year you have the impression that everything every single thing is getting reset for them it is like the phone calls that you receive from families and friends, their phone calls are from the banks telling them that, hey, this is the new year, meaning that all your loans are forgiven. And it looks like their happy new year emails are written by some sort of superpower individual to confirm that their health issues is solved. You could think their text messages guarantee them that they are immortal. I am not saying that we should not celebrate New Year, but I'm saying that we should celebrate with some 
level of rationality is because every New Year's Eve from 6 p.m. on December 31st to 6 a.m. on January 1st are considered the most dangerous hours of the year to drive or ride in a car. In your opinion, why is that time window dangerous? As one single strike of the clock is leading the transition from one year to a whole new year, I think it's the perfect time to reflect about your life, your goals, and have tough conversations with yourself. Take this moment to ideate and compartmentalize what you want as dreams. You do not want to get lost in the moment, but take it, take this very moment to think about the new you. Think about the skill you want to acquire, the book you want to read, the podcast and motivational speakers you need to listen to nurture your body. Do you know the importance of a life policy insurance? In fact, do you have one? That is an example of the type of conversation you should have with yourself. You need to build some sense of security and that begins with personal accountability. Difficult conversations will help you remain grounded and appreciative because you now have a clear purpose and that right there will make you celebrate New Year with a purpose.